Hi friends, it's Lindy from Lovely Villain Designs. In my library pocket video, I showed you, I briefly showed you a piece that I uh, intended to make into a bookmark to slide in behind the, uh, the library pocket in the, the Halloween journal. So here's a video showing you how to do that. This one, you could do like, like we've done with so many other things, you could take some fabric or lace, put it on the top and staple it on. That works absolutely fine. I thought I'd show you this way because there are a number of things that you can do with with toppers and tabs and that sort of thing. And um, we really like this one. So for this, you, would, you will need a tool um, that's a little bit of investment, but not much. Um, I got this and at the time that I'm making this video, um, there's a whole kit of these on Amazon for $10. You get the pliers and then you get 300 gold and 300 silver eyelets. And these are quarter inch eyelets, I checked. Um, so a uh, little bit of investment, but it's something that really adds a nice touch to, uh, to your journals and your, your ephemera. So let me show you how to do it. It's really not difficult. It looks a little intimidating. And the reason I have two of them out here, two of them is because if I only had one eyelet, I would probably mess it up and need the second one. So I've given giving myself extra insurance. I have two, so I'm not gonna need both. There you go. So you got you got your grommet, not well, grommet, eyelet. Um Somebody can probably tell me what the difference is between the grommet and an eyelid. So, and I've got my piece that I want to put the little fabric and the eyelid in the top. So I'm gonna take just my regular hole punch and try to center it pretty, pretty well. Punch my hole. That's pretty centered. And then you just take your eyelid put it through that hole. It fits perfectly. The, the quarter inch, the quarter inch size works perfectly with your standard hole punch. So that's another reason why I like that. So then you take your pliers <clears throat> and you've got the rough side on the back, the side that you want to see on the front and the pliers themselves uh, I have no idea if you'll be able to see this, but there's there's like a little bump on one side. One side is concave, one side is convex. Um, the, the side with the bump is the side that you want to put on the back, on the rough part. So, you get, just get this lined up. Get it lined up with the bump going on the back side. And just give it a squeeze. Let's see if I can do this. Ugh, takes a little bit of grip. There, not that bad, not, not too hard. And it worked fine, so I don't need the other one because I had the other one as my insurance. So now I've got an eyelet in the top, S super easy. Then um, I just have a little piece of fabric that, and you could use fabric, lace, twine, whatever. And you can put it in, you can put it, put one in through and tie it in a knot. Or what I'm gonna do is fold it in half and put that folded end through. I hope I cut it long enough. We'll see. Yeah. So then I've got the loop like this. I'm gonna take the, the loose ends and put them through that loop. Hold this and gently wiggle it to pull it tight. And there it is really not difficult and it's nowhere near as difficult as it seems like it might be um, uh, assuming you have the necessary equipment and like I said the equipment is not very expensive so um, check it out all right there it is I'm gonna put it into whoop, I'm gonna put it into Reese's journal and again I'm sure he won't mind uh, I when I put the library pocket into his journal I glued it on these three sides to make another pocket behind. So this will go in the pocket behind. And it's okay that it sticks up a little bit. I hope you can see that, make sure you can. It's okay that it sticks up a little bit because I like I like things sticking up and out of, of my journals. I think they look, that looks nice. So I'll put the library card back in here. 
And there we go. There it is. Okay. Um, as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to message us. And thank you very much from Lovely Villain Designs.